In this segment, I will be discussing about artificial sweetening agents and food preservatives of chemistry in everyday life chapter. First, I will be discussing artificial sweetening agents. What are artificial sweetening agents and what is the need for artificial sweetening agents? They give a sweet taste but won't increase the calorie. Natural sweeteners, for example, if you take sucrose, they will give sweet taste but they will add to the calorie intake and therefore people used to prefer artificial sweetening agents which will give a sweet taste without increasing the calorie. Let us discuss some of the artificial sweetening agents, their advantages as well as disadvantages. Orthosulfobenzimide which is popularly known as saccharin. Saccharin is the first popular artificial sweetening agent. And it has been used as a sweetening agent ever since it was discovered in 1879. And it is about 550 times as sweet as cane sugar. It is excreted from the body in urine unchanged. It appears to be entirely inert and harmless when taken. Its use is of great value to diabetic persons and people who need to control intake of calories. Let us discuss about aspartame and alitame. Aspartame, it is an artificial sweetener and it is a methyl ester of dipeptide formed from aspartic acid and phenylalanine. And use of, uh, what is the main disadvantage of aspartame? Use of aspartame is limited to cold foods and soft drinks because it is unstable. This is the main disadvantage. It is unstable at cooking temperature. Alitame, this is also an artificial sweetener. It's a high potency sweetener and it is more stable than aspartame. But the main disadvantage is the control of sweetness of food is difficult while using alitame. This is the disadvantage of alitame. And next one is sucralose, which is a trichloro derivative of sucrose. And it is stable at cooking temperature. It does not provide calories. So, the most stable artificial sweetener is found to be sucralose which is found to be stable at cooking temperature and which does not provide calories. Next is about food preservatives. What is the role of food preservatives? They will prevent spoilage of food due to microbial growth. Some of the common most used food preservatives are table salt, sugar, oil and sodium benzoate and Sodium benzoate is used in limited quantities and it is metabolized in the body. And the other uh, substances, other chemicals which are used as preservatives are salts of sorbic acid and propanoic acid.